Okay, hi everyone, it's Simon here from Quaver Love Studio and in today's video we'll be talking about how to record multiple takes of a particular track in a particular section of your Cubase arrangement and we'll be doing so by making use of the marker track facility. Now just so you know, in case you didn't already know, the marker track facility is only available in Cubase Pro and Cubase Artist. You can create markers in Cubase Elements, however, Cubase Elements doesn't have the uh, marker track facility. For the purpose of this, <coughs> beg your pardon, for the purpose of this demonstration, we'll be using Cubase Pro 9.5. And without any further ado, let's go straight into it. Why am I making this video? I'll tell you why. I was trying to record multiple takes of a particular track in a particular section of one of my arrangements by trying to use the arranger track and an arranger chain. Um, if I just uh, quickly activate this arranger track, okay, and the arranger chain is essentially this block here, this loop right here, which you can just uh, create by just drawing on the actual arranger track. We don't need another one, so I'll just undo that. And um, essentially, what I was trying to do, like I said, is to, um, in fact, I'll just demonstrate. So I'm going to record on this vocal track. Okay, I will show the lane so you can see exactly what's happening. And while it's recording, I'll just um, tell you what I was expecting. So as you can see, it's recording on lane one and I thought as soon as lane one was filled and it looped, then it would move down to lane two and start recording again. As you can see, recording has actually stopped and nothing's being recorded in lane two and we only have information in lane one. Okay, so we have deduced that we can't do looped recording, uh, multiple uh, takes using the arranger um, track and the arranger chain. Okay, uh, shout out to Steve, an external moderator in the Cubase forum, for helping me to get to grips with this. Now, let's just uh, <coughs> beg your pardon. Let's just get rid of this, and we'll just deactivate the arranger track. And what we'll do now is create a marker track and we can do this uh, one of two ways we can go to project up here go to add track and move down to marker uh, then you'll be given the option to name your marker track now you can also click on this little plus right here add track and go down to add marker track the same thing happens you get the option to name your marker track we'll name it test marker for now Okay, like so, uh, let's just put the E in right there, like so, and there you have it, your marker track, okay? And if you can see over to the left uh, in the track inspector, there will be um, your test marker, um, section for a test marker, and once we've uh, started adding uh, markers, you'll see the information over here as well. Now we want to create a cycle marker, which is essentially where uh, the section where you're going to be uh, doing your uh, multiple takes. Okay, and to do that, we just click on this add cycle marker button right here. And as you can see, we have our first our first cycle marker. You'll notice it's uh, spanned the entire. Um, length of the arrangement no problem all you need to do is just grab one of the handles on the cycle marker and there's one on either side we'll grab the one on the right for the moment and then just drag it to the length of your choice so we'll just make it that length for now okay the next thing you need to do is to make sure that the uh, transport cycle up here Okay, is the same length as the cycle marker. And you can do that uh, in one of two ways. You can click on cycle right here. Okay, select the marker you've just um, created. And as you can see, the transport cycle is now the same length as the cycle marker. The other way to do this, and I'll just put that back there, is to simply double click on the cycle marker 
like so and again the transport cycle becomes the same length as the cycle marker you've just created okay the next thing you need to do and I'll just just quickly move away from the beginning the next thing you need to do is just to make sure that the timeline is at the beginning of the cycle marker you've created and all you need to do is well again you can do it one of two ways you can just click on the um, locate button here then select the marker okay in fact we'll uh, just keep it simple and leave it like that uh, so the timeline is now at the beginning of the cycle marker you just go down to the track you wish to record on and uh, lanes are being shown and then the next thing you do is just simply record now what you will see is once lane one is filled lane two starts getting populated and you'll see once lane two is filled lane three starts getting populated and so on and so forth and that's exactly how you record multiple takes of a particular track in a particular section of your arrangement by using the marker track okay and a cycle marker now you can create multiple cycle markers and we'll just create another one just by again clicking on the add cycle marker and as you can see there's another one created and you can see it's numbered accordingly so it's number two and you can move it to wherever you want it's at the bottom now but once you move it away from the already created marker it aligns itself to the same line as um, the previous marker okay the next thing you need to do is just to make sure again that the uh, transport cycle is in the same uh, region as the cycle marker you wish to record in and you just double click like you did over here just double click like so uh, like so like so and there you go the transport cycle is now in the region you wish to record okay then again you make sure that the um, timeline is in is at the beginning of the cycle marker you wish to record and you just click on locate and you can see now there are two markers okay so you click on the desired marker in this case uh, number two and the timeline will move to the beginning of the cycle marker and again you just start recording and just like in uh, cycle marker number one, as one lane is completed, the next lane uh, gets uh, starts getting recorded information and so on and so forth. And that's exactly how you record multiple takes of a particular track in a particular section of your Cubase arrangement by using marker tracks and cycle markers. Very intuitive, a very nice to have uh, facility and um, I for one will be using it a great deal. Stay tuned for more videos from me Simon here at Quaver Love Studio and thank you for watching.